So we hear at the Microdual uh, booth. So who are you? Well, my name is Phil Paul, and I'm director of semiconductors for uh, Microdual. And today we've got a few demonstrators on show, which could be useful for the ID Tech X 2016. What you see here is a credit card-sized um, card, plastic card, and here's a pizza. Uh, switch there's no battery here when I press on this you can see up there over here you can see a light will come on so it's connecting remotely yes what is it what does it work with is it Bluetooth yes it's Bluetooth low energy and here we have uh, the in this system here we have the pizza then we have a power manager from Mikadol and then we have some standard components. You can see how thin it is here, five millimeters. So how does it work? What's, uh, is it a battery? No, there's no battery. And the unique selling proposition here is that you can press this uh, pizza switch 10 uh, to the power seven times or more, and it will still function. That means this has got a, a, basically an, a, a, a very, very long life. So it's going to work forever and uh, yeah. there's no need to change the battery. Yes. And so it's a switch for Bluetooth. Yes, it is indeed, yeah. And this is the company you work with? We work together with Alka. Our name is Mikudul. We're in Zurich and Alka is also in Switzerland. Is this a real product? Yes, uh, you can buy this product. All right. And what are you showing here? Well, what we're showing here is, again, yeah. uh, a temperature sensor. We have a temperature sensor which is working here. Yeah. We have a temperature sensor which is located here. And every uh, 15 seconds, the temperature is updated. Uh, and you can see it's on an e-ink display here. So there's no battery here, too. This is no. just no battery at all? No battery at all. This is using solar cells, uh, which are internal solar cells uh, here. Do you make those solar? No, we don't make these. We buy these in. Uh, but the e-ink, we also buy in. So you can see here. This is just a very quick demonstrator. This can be made a lot smaller. But what you see here is the Bluetooth connection goes to the phone. And you can see here that this, this phone is also updated with the, with the temperature. Yes. Alright. Uh, can, can we grab one of those that over there? Grab it out? Yeah. One of the yeah. Is, it, is it fragile? Yeah. So this is showing the chips that you make? Yes, this is typically what a silicon wafer looks like. This is a 6-inch wafer. Today we have 6-inch wafers and we have also 8-inch wafers. Uh, the, Where do you make those? Uh, these are uh, the usual global supply chains uh, are used. Uh, these are, uh, there are many good uh, foundries nowadays that you can buy wafers from. So what does those chips do? These particular chips, actually I have no idea. What could it be? It could be, uh, it could be anything. Our, spe our, our specialities are for um, temperature sensing, for sensors uh, and timing. So we do a lot for real-time clocks, uh, for sensing, uh, as said. Uh, like quartz? Yes, quartz, quartz Quart oscillators we do, 32 kilohertz oscillator based circuits we do. For Swiss watches or? Of course, yes. Yeah. That's that's our, actually where we came from uh, in the past. Are you a competitor of uh, EM Microelectronics? Uh, yes, uh, uh, we are in, in the watch area, we definitely are a competitor, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. And you, you, you will even have a presentation here, right? Yes, uh, we're going to be presenting a single chip calibrated temperature ASIC. So a single chip calibrated temperature ASIC. Yeah. What is that for? Uh, that's uh, uh, for the temperature indicator market, and that's the sweet spot of that market for us is the uh, uh, low end of the market where you have high quantity, uh, and it's aiming at the per pack market.